Well, good morning. Today I greet you in the wonderful name of Elohim Hayim. I just want to say welcome. And as you can see and hear, today we must give God thanks. We must give Him praise. We must give Him glory. You know, the animals, the birds, even the clouds that you see behind me, the trees, the plants, they all glorify God. And so today, I just want to remind you that if you can see, if you can hear, if you can feel, if you have people that you know, love you, and care for you, you must give God praise. As you can hear the birds in the background, they are praising God. As you can see the clouds, they form a, a, a symbol behind my head. You can see the wind, even the wind is praising God. So today, you can hear the rooster. You must give God thanks. Doesn't matter what your situation looks like. You must praise God. Because listen, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against spiritual wickedness. As you can hear the cock crowing in the distance, the birds singing, all of them are giving praise to God. This morning as I started out on my day, I said, Lord, I said two things. The Lord gave me two passages. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 4 in Psalms 91 verse 3 and verse 5 through 6. But before I read these two, I'm only going to read two of the verses and you'll have to read the rest. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pray. Most Holy Father God, I thank you for what you've done. I thank you for what you're doing. I thank you for all the wonderful gifts you've given unto me. I pray right now, Father, that your name will be glorified, that you will be lifted high, that you will be magnified on today. I thank you for the cold wind that I can feel upon my skin. I thank you, Lord God, for the birds and the flowers and the plants and everything that is worshiping you right here on this beautiful Monday morning, the last Monday in the month of February 2024. I thank you, Father, that I am alive, that I'm, I'm not in the grave. I'm sitting, Lord, oh God, on top of a grave, on a, on a tombstone, as I do this praise. <laughs> Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you that I'm not in the cold grave, that my blood flows through my veins, I thank you, Lord, that my, my, my body can feel the cool wind and the heat of the sun. I thank you, Lord, for all my blessings that I have. I give you the praise and the honor. I give you the glory. I lift my hands to heaven and I say, praise God and hallelujah. Lord, you alone deserve the praise. You alone deserve the glory. And I give you praise and I thank you. We have so many blessings. I just want to thank you for my children. I want to thank you for the ministries you've given to me. My missing children ministry. Father, I pray a special blessing upon them this morning. That anyone who seeks to harm the hair on the head of these precious ones. That right now in the name of Jesus, Father God. You will dispatch angels that excel in strength and might to cover your precious children, my two babies, Joseph and Faith, and all my other missing children, that you will cover them, Lord, and the angel of the Lord will shelter them under the wings, Lord, and that you will dispatch angels to minister to these precious missing children. 
Lord God, Yeshua HaMashiach, do what you're famous for. Get your glory upon the heathen. Get your glory upon the vile, wretched people, Lord, that harm little children for their own sick, sinister needs and passions. Lord, get your glory. I give you the praise and the honor. I give you the glory. I say hallelujah and amen. Amen. My precious daughter, my precious son, I want to um, I want to read these two scriptures for you. So I'll start with um, with Second uh, Corinthians chapter chapter ten and verse four. It says, "For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds." And then Psalms ninety one verse three says, "Surely." Oh my God, surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. See, you know, my dear precious one, as I thought about uh, verse 56, verse, verse 5 through 6, it goes on to talk about the arrow that flyeth by day and, and the pestilence that walketh, the noisome pestilence. And we must remember, my precious ones, that our warfare is not carnal. We rest not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness in high places, spiritual wickedness in the courts, spiritual wickedness in society, spiritual wickedness on the job, spiritual wickedness in, in society agencies, spiritual wickedness in the alphabet agencies. The, the warfare we fight is not carnal. It's not mankind against mankind. It's, it's the devil and his demons against, um, against the children of God. And so when we war, we war in the spirit. We war knowing that God will deliver and that God is able and that God is bigger. The word of God said, surely in Psalms 91, surely he shall deliver thee from the noisome pestilence. Yes, he will. He will deliver you. So, my precious one, I just want to encourage you to always Turn to God for your deliverance, for your victory. Because see, they may think that our deliverance comes from our own doing. But no, God is the creator of all mankind. And God will do what he said. If God said it, I believe it. If God promises it, it shall come to pass. So remember, my precious one, that you continue to look to God, who is the author and finisher of your faith because if he said it he's going to do it and we can rest our bottom dollar that he will do it so continue to believe on the lord and you shall see your victory it is here even at the door 32 days uh, the lord has spoken it's my precious son joseph my precious daughter faith the lord has spoken it and it shall come to pass in Jesus Christ's name. God bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance on you and give you peace. In Jesus' holy name, amen and amen.